Today we are interviewing Sven Fessing, Hello. who is also known as uh, Retro Hunter and Sunny Fox. Yeah, that's correct. So, the first time we are interviewing somebody who has two nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and since we are today at, um, at the near of Saarbrücken, Germany, at an out of order meeting, we are doing this uh, well, live. He's pretty much known in the German retro scene. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and so that's why we thought we would like to interview him for, for our scene world magazine. So if you would like to start introducing yourself a bit to our readers. Or oh, and viewers. <laughs> um, yeah, hello, my name is, uh, as he said, Sven Fössing. I'm 36 years old, um, was born in uh, Germany, I live here next to Frankfurt. I um, get in touch with computers and video games, I think about 1984-1985. Much before we got a video game system of the telematch, teleplay things, but I, I, I don't really remember. We had something like this, and uh, but uh, really in touch, I uh, started with a Commodore C16. And uh, data set <laughs> and tapes, and uh, that was my uh, start in the world of uh, computer gaming. And so uh, later I go to um, see uh, Commodore 64, uh, Commodore Amiga, and also started with the world of console gaming, uh, Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo. Uh, and also Sega Mega CD was uh, I worked in uh, holidays for this and buy bought me a Mega uh, CD. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't didn't know better <laughs> this time. So, okay. <laughs> I, but I still have it. Uh, the system because it was one of my first that I yeah bought with my uh, own money I worked for this summer. You said you started with the C16. Yeah. How come? Because most people start with Atari or the VC20 or the C64. How come you start with the C16? My, my parents okay. bought it. So um, don't know if uh, they bought it. It was new. new don't know. The, don't know that yet though. Um, they uh, yeah. I want to start with computer gaming uh, yeah. or computers. Uh, uh, friends have computers. Um, Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, not so expensive for them. Uh, Commodore 64 was uh, more, quite more expensive uh, than any other system. And I think it must be 1987 uh, or 1986 when I started with the C16. Mm -hmm. uh, later there was the Commodore 64, first with a tape also. And then one year later at uh, mm -hmm. Christmas I got the disk drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think that was the thing about the money thing. So, um, so since you used this uh, C sixteen, you didn't have much friends to share games with, I guess. Uh, no, no. Uh, some of my friends have also a Commodore sixteen, so okay. we c could share games. Okay. And uh, yeah, they. Um, so, but, but that was also, uh, I think, so a uh, possibility that they uh, uh, look for what my friends have uh, for a system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't remember. Uh, mm -hmm. And if I ask them, uh, they have also no interest in computers, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they see the price and they say, hey, mm -hmm. let's start. Uh, because uh, they thought uh, if we buy a, Co buy a Commodore 64 and in, in a couple of months you have no interest for this, that's uh, thrown on money. <laughs> yes, which is pretty common if you are younger. You are just interested for a period of time and then you are going yeah. to waste it because, ah, oh, it's not interesting anymore, let's go on with something else. Um, so so you, you, you started to get interest into the computer stuff mainly due to your friends having a computer? Yeah, yeah, a couple of them. Uh, they, I, it's, it's, it's uh, I think, in every childhood, in every. Uh, uh, friends, you have someone. Uh, we have uh, started with some computer stuff. Mm -hmm. We have you. You have a friend who has uh, parents have money. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember a, a, a friend from from school was uh, one of the first in an Amiga 500. A mm -hmm. uh, couple of years before I started with an Amiga, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so there I have. Uh, I still remember a friend who got a. Uh, 
C116, the small ones. Uh, I, I love this uh, <laughs> keyboard. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and so we, we also uh, uh, yeah, uh, change or uh, trade uh, our games, uh, our schoolyard, and um, yeah. But uh, the, the, the interesting part was uh, that I, at, the, at this time, I really was uh, connected to original games, to tapes. So um, there was a, sure there was a time that I uh, copied games, it was normal at this time. But I also had the connection to original games. I, I bought them and uh, yeah, so it started also with the C16 that I got original tapes. Mm. Oh, good. So uh, nowadays you are working for Spieletips Day, mm -hmm. which is the biggest site for hints and solutions and so on. It's, it's one of the, uh, the biggest uh, German video game sites, yes, also for yes, news yes. and uh, uh, reviews and so on. Yeah. Now the question is, did, did you have the plan as a child already to start working in the game industry at some point? Sure, I think every kid who has started with computer gaming and uh, uh, lived this as a real hobby uh, so dream about. Uh, you have all the German magazines, uh, uh, Powerplay, uh, ASM, uh, you, you, you looked at them, they were heroes. Uh, you have uh, Boris Schneider, Jone, Heinrich Lehnhardt, Anna Locker. You saw also, wow, one day I work with that. But, but also, I was a little bit realistic at this time. I, I looked at my papers and I, uh, there was, uh, an, uh, I was never good at school. I was a little bit lazy and hey, I, I, well, I never uh, um, need to uh, uh, make a year again, but uh, I, I was going, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. So I never thought about uh, writing and uh, going in this industry, so that was... So, what did you start with in your uh, life uh, for earning money? What, what was the starting Oh, it was uh, one of the classic jobs. Yeah, social, uh, we have a German social insurance health care system and I started there, uh, was uh, training, so uh, I got this job, but it was a real, it, it was a Interesting training uh, for my life, but the job that don't care me. But it, uh, at this time, I, I, I see that was a really uh, that was really good for me. Um, but this job was not for me. I, I after this uh, three years, um, I I changed the company. I was so uh, one year later in this job. And then I said, okay, this is not my job, this is not my kind. And yes, and it was um, 1999. And there was, uh, you said at the job market, hey, I have, uh, I have uh, knowledge about computers and you get jobs. And you get a lot of jobs. I got, I've got calls from Munich and they said, yeah, come to us and uh, you can sleep here, we help you. With. I said, hey, are we having a talk? We just chatted on the phone five minutes. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So uh, I started in this, and uh, I started with um, uh, uh, systems for uh, cash systems for supermarkets. I changed them. Um, I uh, educated personal to this IT systems here, and uh, it was a fun job. I I can uh, drive around Germany. It was very interesting. And then uh, later I worked for other companies also in the uh, 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 support uh, for uh, user, user support, internal user support. And then I was uh, working, uh, started working for HP um, and make uh, service support, storage support. Uh, later, then I moved uh, to Hessen, to, um, to Lang, where was uh, Dell and also make this job and uh, yeah then uh, um, I quit, uh, quit this job uh, they they moved it to the eastern part of Germany as I said okay uh, you give this golden handshake I said in, in August 2006 you can move to um, 
uh, you can go and we pay you to the end of the year and you get money and he said okay I'm the first one who take this this was a good decision because other were moved out in other ways out of the company and yeah so then I started with uh, 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 back-end support uh, for telecommunication and after this um, I realized that this all is not my job one of my colleagues started a um, hobby project a video game site and said hey do you want to write something and I said I started writing but I realized okay I'm not so good and then I started in video game uh, video productions I made video reviews and said okay that's a small my, my style um, yeah, and then we came to to the retro idea. <laughs> okay, so you are that's why you are known for your hat because yeah. I guess it's derived from Indiana Jones something that I yeah. hear of wearing the hat, oh. and hunting the <laughs> game. No, 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 no. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it, it was a it was a long way. Um, I remember first in two thousand nine, I want to start with the retro gaming project. I watched. I watch other shows, um, also international shows uh, uh, um, like the, uh, the Angry Video Game Girl. Also, also known stuff and said, okay, that's cool, but I don't want to copy that. Then I watch the uh, German shows, uh, retro snippets, uh, uh, or the uh, and I said, okay, that that's quite good. Uh, and then I start with the. Uh, retro corner that was the first concept retro corner and I stand there and, and I really was uh, you know, so an alert uh, about the green screen I said okay then I sit there stand there and stand normal and I said okay make the first take and watch it and I said okay that is that looks nice but it's uh, not not uh, yeah it's, it's, it's like the other stuff. Um, the concept was uh, what the, the concept uh, the ground concept is still the same. So I want to present a top game or classics or I think that is a classics um, and a flop game and uh, some a little bit stuff fun stuff around and uh, not also the mainstream classic. Also I, games I play here and I recognize and say hey this is really good uh, like we play yesterday Hudson Hawk. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, that's this really fun game. Okay, that comes into my one of my next shows. And um, yeah, but I still that there was something missing. And I'm uh, also a um, geocacher. And uh, as I lived here in, in the Saarland, uh, we uh, we have so many. Uh, uh, okay, bunker uh, they know what we mean. Um, it is uh, we have many of the systems. And uh, I was in one of these systems with a friend, and I was in there, and I said, "Wow!" Being there came the idea. Okay, wow! You make an XXL version of Indiana Jones hunting some consoles there, and uh, yeah. So, so I make this intro, and uh, you can see this intro at the end of my show. Um, it's a, a running around one minute, so I don't want to put it in front of the show. If you make a show that is uh, 15 minutes, it's not good if you have an intro for uh, one minute. So it's, uh, it's the outro, but it's really cool. Um, and we make some effects. I, I bought a costume, I bought the hat. Uh, um, and so it started with the Retro Hunter. It was uh, one of these uh, sites, uh, the gamescrowd.com. I started it there. And then um, one of uh, I was in another community, and one of them is uh, is an editor at Gamers Global, and he said, "Hey, um, if you want to write the news on Gamers Global, we have user generated content." And I, um, yeah, uh, started there and uh, presented it there, and uh, after three shows, Jörg Langer, one of the founder of the GameStar, and uh, uh, editor in chiefs of them, uh, so also at the Spielewetter Run podcast. He contacted me and he asked, Okay, uh, I have interest to present this show exclusively. And I said, Okay, that is cool because I want to start uh, uh, in this business uh, as a job, which is a really crazy idea if you, if you know that you are not the good uh, writer and anyone, because also. 
well-known writers, editors uh, have no job at this time and say, hey, if you want to be something journalist, don't be, don't go to the video game journalism. You don't earn money. Everyone wants, young wants to be in this, and it's it's a tough job. And said, yeah, I know, I understand this, but try it. <laughs> and yeah, he uh, so we uh, get in common. So I make this exclusive. It was also a little bit of a hard decision. Because uh, at Games Crowd, this was our colleague, a friend, and uh, I said, okay, I can understand because he see, uh, see also the potential of the show. This was one of the uh, most viewed show um, on this page. I said, yeah, but please also understand me. I need to, uh, if I want to do this at job as a job, I need to go on. And uh, if Jörg Langer contacts you, um, it's it's yeah. So you didn't start on YouTube like most people do. You started on the page of your friends. Yeah, yeah. It, we have a YouTube channel. It, it's a, it was a YouTube channel, um, a games crowd, and um, so you can uh, link it on other pages. And so uh, um, yeah, but it was uh, with a games crowd intro and uh, signature, and started there. Yes, but but. Uh, I think uh, I'm really thankful for this page because this gives me the, the opportunity to start this and I learned there a, a lot of uh, about the business. I, I get in touch with the Gamescom uh, first time. So yeah, it brings me a lot, but I also need to make this hard decision to say, okay, I want to go on and I think this is the right way. And watching back for the years, uh, that I've done this, this was the right decision, really. How, how did you notice that your show is going to be a success? What was the first feedback? I mean, I mean how, did awesome. you know, how did you know that, that now you have reached the turning point and now it's going to be not a little project anymore, but going to be getting bigger? What was the turning point? Was it the amount of viewers you suddenly got? Yeah. Or what was the turning point for you where you said, okay, this is going to be awesome, or in some way? Okay, uh, I am still realistic, and I was at this time realistic, and I said, okay, retro gaming is, is, is for a group, is for a small group. At the moment, the group is growing up, but I was also realistic and said, okay, you, you're never really gonna be an angry video game nerd or something else. Um, I see the views and they depend on two, three, four thousand viewers per episode. Um, and I said, okay, uh, the feedback was really good because I've in, uh, I'm in some of the uh, communities, it's uh, consolentreff.de, uh, um, they know me there and uh, they're <laughs> Welcome to Germany, Sunday morning, where the bells are ringing. I also see that I am um, good at this, and then the, as I said, the feedback was very good, and uh, also um, I get um, good critics. The people send me, in a normal way, um, what is good, what I need to change, and all this stuff, and uh, I, I've, I've done this. Uh, the, one of the first episodes, I have also uh, uh, a technique uh, tip, hardware tips inside, but but I also feel that other shows I, like the Retro Snippets from Scorpius are, are, are much better than this. I said, okay, so focus on the games and the uh, humor in this and uh, the people like it. And then it was this positive feedback and also after three shows, uh, one of the famous uh, Video game editors, your planner came to me and said, "Okay, uh, let's do this together." And yeah, so uh, I said, "Okay, this is a good uh, idea." And I make, I make also other stuff, I make uh, other video, um, yeah, so fun for, for, for fun episodes about video games. So, so all other stuff. But I was at this time really realistic. I said, "Okay, uh, this is a good start with the Retro Hunter, uh, but you never." earn your complete money with that, so then you, you need about uh, to, to live from a YouTube video, uh, you need 1 million viewers 
per month, the minimum. Which is also limited because you're using you're doing your shows in German rather than English. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that was really funny at the Games Crowd. I make a review for the um, Undead Nightmare uh, DLC from Red Dead Redemption, and I make this in German and also in English. So I uh, was the worst testing to make this in English, and uh, these episodes got about. 20,000 viewers, the English episode, the German was a couple of thousand viewers and it was very cool because um, I said at the beginning, I said, hey uh, people please uh, uh, keep in mind that it's not my native language, I tried this first and there was really really good feedback and so also there was, uh, hey this is perfect, it, 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 that is not your language but you do it really well and really funny feedback. One of the funniest feedback was uh, someone reviewed this and said, wow, what the fuck? Hey, we played this together. I, I run there, we uh, tested the multiplayer version and said, hey, awesome, and give you can me uh, the complete material. And uh, so that's really funny. Was, he didn't know that I uh, make a video, in, as I never said that in game, and he watched uh, a video and said, wow, that was me. <laughs> so that was very funny. Yeah, uh, so he, it is realistic. If you make a video in English, you have from a side or more reach of more viewers. Yeah, but you also have more competition. Yeah, sure. The other side. Sure, so sure. You have to. You have to offer something special. Yeah, that that that, that, that was the, the idea of the retro hunter. I want to make something special mm -hmm. that no one has. Uh, I had started it in two thousand eight, but then it was a show like other shows, and everyone makes special. So this XXL version of. Indiana Jones started and yeah, mm -hmm. people started. Since, since that test show in English was a big success, do you consider doing more shows in English? Yes, I consider that, but I had not the time. And uh, as, as I said, I, maybe, uh, I, I tried this and when he said, okay, the uh, Sea uh, Worlds, uh, this, uh, and this will re release at this date, I tried to make a retro show in English, so. Mm -hmm. You can link this and say, okay, sure. for these international viewers, I make this episode especially also in uh, English. It is, it's, it's a lot of work to mm -hmm. do this. And if you don't have a uh, hundred thousand or more viewers, it's, it's a nice hobby. But uh, at this time, I started in this business as a freelancer. And any, anyone who knows how hard it is to be a freelancer uh, recognizes that, that uh, yes, uh, it, it was an idea, but I said, okay, um, yeah, not this way. So now you are working in the industry and, and a lot of people know you, at least in Germany, from the retro scene. And um, so how is it for you to be known? I mean, you go to parties and people shake your hands and say, oh, this is um, Sunny Fox or Retro Hunter. How, how does it feel to be, to be known and to know other editors and have access to game companies. How is it to, to, to be now at this stage you want to be as a kid? It, it's awesome. Um, it, it's really awesome. Um, as, a, as a 36 years old, I started with 32 years as an idea. And with 33 years, I started, uh, 34 years, I started to do this as a job. And one, one friend of mine, he said, uh, I started uh, at, the, uh, at this time, it uh, was the first time I uh, keep in touch with Spieletips and wrote an article. Um, I, I also uh, doing podcasts. Um, so I keep in touch with Joachim Hesse, who was the uh, 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 co-editor, uh, um, editor-in-chief of the uh, PC Action. And we make this podcast and yeah, at this time um, I started to working for Spieletips, making the article, and uh, one of one of my good friends he said, "Hey Sven, one year ago or one and a half year later, you get a top position at Spieletips or another company. You are in this business." I said, yeah, "Man, you're crazy." And he was right. He was damn right. He said every time we meet, he said every time he said, "Oh my God, why I go back with you about thousand euros or something like this?" And yeah, but it's uh, it's it's still awesome, amazing. Um, uh, 
three months ago, I was uh, one of a couple of hundred journalists worldwide who was sitting in New York watching the uh, pre, uh, P, uh, PlayStation 4 reveal at Sony, who was invited there. And as I sit there, I really realized, man, you are here. And, and what, what you say, you come to, to events, uh, also like Gamescom, it's, it's not like you, you can't move a, a step and take a step and you guys, oh, oh, you are sweat. But it, it's happened. And then there come people to you and say, can I have a photo with you or something like this. And then I realized, and as, as I was in New York, I said, wow, you are really here. And I wrote in, in, in this uh, console draft community, I wrote in, in, an article about my starting in this business. And where I am now, and now I'm so it's a little bit uh, bigger. Uh, uh, I'm now uh, head of social media at Spieler Tips, so I'm in the uh, the Facebook what? dude. Yeah, the yeah uh, head of social media is it's, it's not only Facebook. It's uh, it's our YouTube channel, our video projects we're doing. Also, I have the, uh, a little bit uh, the head uh, about the editors there, and. Yeah, it is, it's 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 still amazing, and and I wrote this and wrote I wrote this in this console chef community. I said, okay, yeah, you were this kid who we were dreaming. We were said, hey, there was the heroes Heinrich Lehnhardt, Bolschlager, Jon, all all these guys who you have so, so much respect for them, and you look upon them. And I wrote this article, and someone uh, wrote me onto my Facebook comment about this or uh, this link. He said, "Yes, Sven, uh, that's that's really cool." And as you said, um, but realize now, there are people that look upon you like you look upon Heinrich Lennart. You are the hero now for them, and that's really actually that's really awesome. And I, I was uh, last year I was in a in a shop buying a computer game here in, in Saarland, and a kid looked at me and said. Hey, are you the guy from Speeder Tips? And I say, oh yes, <laughs> cool. <laughs> we made some video projects, and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's it's really. But it's also a tough job. Um, many kids see this. Hey, you you're testing video games the whole day and making a lot of fun stuff. But um, uh, at, at our company, we don't uh, play much at this at work. Only if it's necessary. Most of the playing is uh, in the evening or something like this. Um, we change this a, a little bit more. But uh, at the company I don't play anymore. I have all this organization stuff and it's really a stressful job. Uh, you have, uh, it's, it's not a 9 to 5 job. And uh, it's also possible that you work at weekends. But Still, it's 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 one of the best jobs. It's the best job I ever made. So you you are in this business and uh, you see so much things and you you really keep get in touch with so many uh, people. Also with the restaurant, I have this uh, I've interviews with with Elo. I've done an interview. So a very fun guy and. Uh, I missed his joke and I was so nervous in this interview and he said, hey, uh, who sent you? And that's a famous joke on uh, Leisure Sweet Larry and, so I, and I watched this uh, video after editing this video and he said, who sent you? I said, yeah, <laughs> and he said, oh my God, you are so, such an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing to be there, yeah. A long sentence, but one word, it's really amazing to work in this business. And as you, as you said in your story, that you that small kid were asking you um, if you are that person. So you are also known outside of the retro community. Yeah, sure. By normal people, by normal yeah. kids who are just seeing yeah. your page or looking at speeder tips or seeing your retro hunter stuff on YouTube or something. Yeah, uh, I think okay. I, I, at the moment, I don't know, uh, do not make so much video stuff on Spiele Tips. Uh, sometimes I'm be in the in the picture, or if I do an interview, which is not really common at the moment because I go to more to the background stuff. So um, there was a time, I think last year, that more kids at the Gamescom. Uh, there was a, a 
uh, a couple of guys who know me from Retro Hunter, but the other many know me about Spiele tips. Mm -hmm. Don't know about my retro uh, history, but um, so that was the. Um, uh, but I still keep in touch with this uh, uh, retro gaming because uh, it was never my uh, intention to be so big. Okay, uh, you, you need to be honest. Um, if you make a video on YouTube, anyone said, hey, I don't want to be uh, famous, I don't want to be... The... Nonsense. It's stupid. Because when I make a video, I want that it makes success. I want a million viewers. Yes, that's... <laughs> nobody said, that. No, I don't want this. It's stupid. I, I, if I make a video, I want a million view or more of viewers. But also, realistic, hey, you make this. And uh, I'm also excited about... Uh, my show at the moment, um, I do this as, um, okay, I need to go a little bit uh, away. After um, I make the show for Games Crowd, uh, Games Crowd and Gamers Global, New York Liner, I keep in touch, more in touch with uh, Spieletips. The uh, boss of Spieletips, he's seen some, uh, a couple of videos from uh, me and he said, okay, this is a guy, he's funny, he knows about video. And uh, he makes a show every two weeks, or so he, okay, he can organize, he coordinate stuff. And uh, they invite me to their uh, summer party. And he uh, talked to me and said, okay, uh, we want to start a video and all those other stuff. And as I work as a freelancer, I also know, okay, you are not a good ed editor, so you need a second. Uh, point that you can work with and that was social media. I was really connected to social media I said okay this could you also do as, the, uh, as a job. And I said okay if you are also a uh, uh, knowledge of social media and uh, you can work there and do stuff there. And so I started at Spiele Tips and a couple of months later he said okay uh, Sven uh, it's really good to work with you. Um, we want to work with you exclusively, so um, that you are a freelancer still, but we want uh, you work at the video game uh, 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 market um, that you work exclusively for us. So, which always mean okay, Retro Hunter or Gamers Global couldn't exist anymore. It was a very sad moment because I mean, uh, uh, a couple of them, uh, many people said, oh, come on, this was a good show. And, uh, but it was also stress. I released the show every two weeks. And one of the, the shows needs uh, two or three working days. And you have also other stuff to do. And it was really, I was not so, uh, yeah, I think the last episodes were so, weren't so good anymore. It was my and also they came comments hey it was better a month ago and so I said okay I need to uh, stop this so your so your plan was also sad but he also could understand me he said okay I can't give you a job like this uh, you get there and uh, he said okay Red to stop them but I still uh, kept in mind okay I can't cancel the show this show was. Uh, was the first step into this business and uh, it gave me so much and so I think uh, okay you need to go anywhere and so as I said also to my boss okay I wish for Hunter yes not every two weeks but uh, and it was also not a, f a format for Spieletips um, and I said okay Ritual Hunter I make this on private but not uh, for the yes, company. yeah, not for a company and not all, all two weeks. And uh, there was a, a, a time off. Uh, then I gave to uh, uh, gave an interview to Cool Boy, and there was a little teaser uh, inside because um, I uh, in this interview I, I uh, uh, was my last sentence. So hey, did anyone recognize that I didn't uh, speak about the Retro Hunter in in presence? not in the past. And I said, hey, why are you are talking in presence? And yes, and then I started in new, my own website. And I said, okay, I start with an Indiana Jones uh, episode that was a special one, so it was also successful. But then I get, yeah, uh, 
uh, so my girlfriend and I were separated and I moved to another city and then came Spieletapes and said okay uh, you are uh, separated so uh, hey then it's the best way you come to us and you get a full-time job and uh, so yeah move here so you uh, you're not next to your girlfriend so <laughs> yeah they helped me a lot and um, so I started there and yeah there was the next episode with the uh, unboxing of the Amiga 1200 the news from uh, Peter uh, Chichenko uh, and then, yeah, there, there was uh, many people were upset because I said uh, uh, the next episode will be not on you need, don't need to wait uh, half a year for the next episode, and yeah, they need to be wait uh, yeah half a year for the next episode. I was very angry, and so they were happy uh, with the new episode I made. This was a Die Hard. This is the actual episode. It got also thousand three hundred viewers, and so yeah. That's is actually so retro hunt is still going on, not all two weeks, but I think all one or two months I will uh, air the next episodes. But you could say that um, that the retro hunter show was the starting point yeah. for the career, yeah. and thanks to your viewers, you were able to well to yeah. actually make this as a living now. Yeah. And I guess since you are responsible for social media tips nowadays, it also helped them that you were already known in the scene, in the retro scene, as Retro Hunter. Because when you started your job as social uh, media manager, you, the people already knew you, was that kind of? Did people, no. did, did people recognize you on Facebook that, hey, this is the Retro Hunter guy? Or Sometimes. <laughs> it's really funny because as a Retro Hunter, I have the costume. I have this... Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, shirt, shirt, uh, this uh, yeah, shirt, and uh, I have this hat. So um, uh, I have this hat on. And if I don't have this hat on, um, I was on a retro event last year, and said in this uh, community of this event, say, hey, I will come to your uh, event, and so great. And I didn't wear my hat. And at this event, I leaving. I come at the morning, played a lot of things, talked to guys, and as I leaving, I bring all my stuff back to the car. And uh, there was a group out there talking, and I stay, uh, go to them and talk a little bit. And one of them, one of the organizers, said, "Yeah, and did anyone see the retro hunter? He has a note that he comes, and he was not here." I said, "Hey, <laughs> I stand here." I said, "That was also my decision." Um, Okay, I, I wear the hat a lot of times before, uh, but I said, okay, on the retro events you go with this hat. So it's it's very funny. Um, with uh, with the, without this hat, some of the retro scenes don't recognize me. Uh, with this hat on, some who know me from Spieletips didn't recognize me. It's uh, yeah. It's, so you have two identities. Kind I of. have two identities in this <laughs> yes in this uh, video game business. <laughs> And how did it happen that you also have the Sunny Fox uh, nickname? Because it's very unusual to have two nicknames, actually. Yeah, Retro Hunter is not my nickname. It's, it's, uh, Retro Hunter is, is my... Label or whatever? It's, yeah, it's a label. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, the Sunny Fox is my, uh, is my common um, nickname. I have this uh, nickname since 17, 18 years. I was um, active at the uh, Chaos uh, Computer Club, and this was the <clears throat> okay. My first nickname was Crocker um, when I started with Mailbox, because um, I said I had a friend, and you have all this modem stuff and like this, and uh, <coughs> we uh, he said, okay, you want to log in? You need a nickname. I said nickname, <clears throat> what? Uh, <coughs> and he had a t-shirt from Crocker where I said it's Crocker. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then the X file started and my common nickname was Fox Muller. And so I started to the uh, CCC event. And at the CCC event <coughs> I was also um, an EMT paramedic, firefighter at this time. And one of the guys asked, hey, can you look a bit around first aid and something? And it was also bigger at this event, so I have the first aid. Uh, uh, team there, my own first A team, and so many people know me there as Fox mm -hmm. or Sunny. So Sunny, Sunny Tater is the German word for paramedic <coughs> or EMT. And so 
Some people call me Zani, and other people call me Fox. And <clears throat> maybe it was 1997 or so, one of them called me Sunny Fox. Mm. Okay. And said, okay, this is my this is my real nickname. So uh, Retron is an identity, but I also listen. So it's it's very funny if you come into the chats and you have to ask uh, your nickname Sunny Fox. Um, <clears throat> they say, hey, who are you? I say, I read Harry so, mm. so, But many uh, in this community know me also as Sunny Fox because I use this uh, at uh, Gamertag on Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Wii, so I have systems. Um, I also use this at Twitter account. Uh, so, Sunny, if you, you find Sunny Fox, it's me. <laughs> so, is there anything nowadays in the industry? You want to reach any other goal you didn't reach yet? Anything you are aiming for? <laughs> or are you happy, totally happy, everything is perfect? Uh, at the moment it's, it's really perfect because I've got new pro uh, um, projects uh, we're starting in, in, in our company and I'm in there coordinating them and I said, hey, this is really cool. And uh, yes, I, keep, it's, it's, um, I need to be realistic. Um, I said 36 years old, uh, in 10 years I think I'm not even more in this, uh, maybe in this business, maybe uh, in other parts, because uh, as you see now, there are, there are print magazines that come around, Powerplay is there, again, Retro Gamers in German, so the retro scene will be stronger and stronger again, because many in our age um, keep connected to uh, to their games in the past, but also the video gamer getting older and still playing. So uh, maybe in, in 10 years uh, there is, uh, as we said, okay, there is a community for um, video gamer in my age so that I can make this software mm -hmm. project uh, for them and, the, and this is also uh, a good job because Trilitex is for a really young community, mm -hmm. um, also under 18 years old. And yeah, keep it realistic, they, they don't want to see an old man. <laughs> they need to see young uh, guys in front of them. And so, so need them. But, but I don't know, at the moment I'm really uh, excited about my job. And um, yes, but I still uh, think about the, the next years, what happens. But I uh, want to, be, to stay in the business as long as it could, uh, could possible. Now you mentioned a lot of projects, your dying podcast and so on. Is what was the homepage so people can look at the stuff you are doing? Is there any central point? <laughs> yeah, that's its problem. Is, is there any central point? Because I have so many pro uh, project, I have the projects that I uh, they have. Uh, I have this uh, retro hunter. This is a retro hun retro minus hunter dot de, but it's in German. It's a German project. I have the Soccer Salat, it's a pod to SoccerSalat.de, it's, it's, it's a podcast uh, with a, a mixture, um, you have, um, you have uh, in, uh, the Jo, jo Hesse, a uh, famous editor, you have one guy, Nadim, he's uh, working in the video game industry as a game designer, you have uh, Jochen, a friend of mine, who's a gamer, and uh, yes, I really talk around in the show, and so, yeah, you have not a main page, that's the okay. problem, because I have so many projects. Mm. I have projects that are some, a couple of months ago I started with uh, Love is in the Games, uh, so there are, there are so many sites, projects, who have the only th uh, thing to, to do in video games is to uh, talk about video games, to bash them. I said, hey, don't worry, I, I want to say I love video games, I said, why I love this game? It was the new Tomb Raider, but uh, it was under uh, uh, six weeks ago, and yeah, so I didn't have the time. Yeah, I have no main page. Maybe I, I try to uh, make it again a main page where you can see my other projects. But if you contact me at, at Twitter, uh, it's Sunny Fox or Facebook. Uh, then first thing you see that um, you can link it also. There you can reach my project, and there I will post every project I make. Okay, and we will definitely tell the people when your English episode is coming up. Yeah, when, when you say to me, um, okay, uh, you will uh, release the scene, uh, scene world, um, 
then I could uh, make the last episode or the episode that I aired in this time and make a uh, double episode also in English, try it and okay. if I have been Sounds enough time. <laughs> Sounds good, we yeah. will do our best. Yeah. Okay, well, so good luck with your stuff and okay. thanks for allowing us to interview you. Oh, sure. Very it's interesting. It was, yeah. it was a really pleasure, okay. it was my first interview doing English. And oh. oh, we are also two Germans, so <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Really fair, we were doing very well. So, um, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. <laughs>